Syria at the bedside of the injured. Two years after the start of the current crisis, Syria has been stricken by a bloody conflict that continues to claim the lives of hundreds of people every day. Fighting has moved into residential areas with no distinction made between civilian and military targets. Entire neighborhoods are targeted by daily strikes and in many parts of the country, health facilities that are considered strategic targets have been driven underground with scanty resources to cope with the constant influx of injured people. This situation is forcing more and more people to flee Syria and the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees expect the numbers of refugees already estimated at 1.5 million to double over the course of the year. Handicap International's field team warned that people crossing the border are increasingly becoming vulnerable and in a state of psychological distress. Handicap International has set up permanent and mobile disability and vulnerability focal points in Beka Valley in the northern Lebanon and along the northwest border with Jordan to meet the needs of the most vulnerable, including people with disabilities. Since the beginning of 2013, specialists in psychosocial support for refugees have systematically been included in the implementation teams. Handicap International places a particular focus on people who have suffered disabling injuries. The organization's team of physiotherapists is working closely with hospitals to assist the large numbers of injured people in Syria as well as those arriving in Lebanon and Jordan. Handicap International provides rehabilitation services to people who had limbs amputated and must learn how to live with artificial ones, as well as to people whose injuries could result in a permanent disability. For more information, please visit our website at www.handicap-international.ca.